Hello everyone, my name is Christian and in today's video you will learn 5 techniques that will help you clean the data in Excel Power Query. Power Query is a very powerful tool that extracts, transforms and loads the data. It allows us to extract data from different sources such as PDF files, Excel files, text, tables, databases, clouds and even from web pages. Sometimes we get lucky and the data doesn't need much cleaning. But there are times when the data gets really difficult to clean, especially in PDF files. The techniques I'll show you represent a good addition to your data cleaning skills that will make your life easier when dealing with messy data. Here I have a table that contains columns with messy data. We can see that on the position column we are missing some uh, values from the cells. Also on the date column the date format is wrong and some of the cells inherited the value from part number column. The description column has all the content misplaced by one position down. So we'll have to lift it up. Instead of one quantity column, we have two quantity columns. We'll have to deal with that also. We are missing the most part of the price unit column. And we'll have to clean and correct the data from this table. And to do that, I'll go to the data ribbon. Click on queries and connections because I have already prepared the query for this table. By the way, if you want to follow along, check out the link in the description and download the workbook so you could exercise simultaneously with me. So now I'll click on edit and we'll get to the Power Query editor. I will delete the change type step and the first columns to deal with would be the quantity columns. Here we will apply the merging technique where we will merge these two columns. Uh, such misplacing of the cell values might occur when we have a PDF file that contains multiple pages. And for this portion, it might be one layout on the first page and then on the second page, the layout may be a little bit different. So the Power Query would identify differently the columns. So in this uh, situation, we would uh, select both of the columns and we will go to transform and click on merge columns. Uh, in this case, we see that on the portion of the column where the values are null, we could just uh, drag the values from uh, the second column so we don't need to do any additional uh, cleaning. So we will just merge without using any separator and we will call this column as quantity. And we will rename it again. So we dealt with the quantity column and last thing uh, to do for it is to change the type from uh, a text to a decimal number or even better to a whole number. So this column is solved. The second column we are going to deal with would be the position number column. And we can see that the position number for uh, some of the rows is missing but the position number is increasing by one for each row. So the simplest technique would be to add a new column with index from one. And we will just get rid of this column. We will delete it. And then we will go to that column ribbon and we will insert a new column that starts with one. We'll drag and reorder this column to be the first and we'll rename it as position number. The third column we are going to deal with would be the um, date column. So here the uh, first thing we need to do is to change type from uh, this uh, general type to a uh, date and we do so but because 
in these cells and also in these cells we have the a text and not uh, a number we get an error so in this case i would suggest that we first solve the issues with the part number column because what we can do is to move the content from this portion of the column from of the date column to the part number to do that we will use the custom column technique where we will use a if condition and the condition will be that if the part number column contains cells with null values then that null cell will get the data from a different column in the same row so click on add column ribbon and add custom column and we will say if part number column equals to null then get the content from the date column and if it's not null which means else get the content from the part number column and we will click ok so right now we have a new custom uh, column that combined the content from both date and part number column and this technique is very useful when we have such situation with null columns so now we can get rid of this column and rename the newly created one and now we can deal with the date column so the third technique will be to use the change type functionality to clean up the data so as you've previously seen if we change the type to date here we get an error but that's a good thing because if we get an error then we could replace the error so we could replace all the errors with null or we could replace the errors with the actual date in here so we could type 10 of october 2010 but in this case our applied step would be fixed so if we add uh, rows to our table that would contain a different date and uh, with the same issue then we would get also this uh, exact uh, text 10 of october 2010 so a better way to to solve this is to replace it with null so we are replacing the errors with null and then we right click and fill down so all the null values will get the um, the value from the closest upper cell in our case this cell was the 10th row so we also cleaned up the date column now it's left to deal with the description column here our whole content is misplaced with one position down from the other columns so we'll have to lift it up to do that the technique we are going to apply is by inserting two index columns merging their queries and then creating a new column that will be lifted up and if that doesn't make sense then we'll just go to index ribbon add an index column that starts with one and add another column that starts with zero we go to home and we merge queries so in the upper window we select the index column that starts with one and here we select the same query and we select the second index column that starts with zero and then we click ok and afterwards we click this uh, expanding uh, icon and we can see that here we have the content of all our columns and the column we need to to lift up is the description so we'll have to deselect all the columns except the one we need and then we will click ok 
So you can see that now newly created column has lifted the content up by one position. Now we can delete the original column and also the index column ones. And now we rename this one as it should be and we reorder it. And the last technique we are going to apply for the price unit column. We can see that we are missing a good portion of this column, but because we have the total amount and because of, we have the quantity, we could get easily the price unit. So what we are going to do now is to make sure that the columns we are going to use are formatted properly. The quantity column is OK. Now we have to change the type from text to decimal number for the total amount column. So now to solve the issue of the price unit column, we can select both columns, click on the add column ribbon, select the standard operation column and click on divide. So we divided this column by this column and we got the price unit. This is the easiest uh, method to do that, but I will show you another one. So as we did previously, we could add a new custom column and we could write a condition if price unit column equals to null then total amount divided by quantity else price unit so we got the same result now we could get rid of our original column and of the mathematical operation column and now we can word, reorder the newly custom column that we created we change the type to decimal number and now we can see that our table is almost fully cleaned it is left to filter this last row and we could select the description column and remove the null cells. So this uh, last row will disappear and now our table is fully cleaned and we could close and load the data. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope these techniques will serve you good in your data cleaning journey. If you enjoyed the tutorial, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel and share with me your thoughts in the comment section down below. See you next time.